look to push Indiana and Arkansas early season showdown as you're watching for the SEC. Senior, but Robert Fennessy has been critical of this team. So Gafford comes out with an American level jumpstart. guard uh, for Marquette. Now, no double team came there. It came late. And Gafford's able to go to work. He can wait at different times. He's turned the ball. One of two and an early one point lead. That ball is good. Three pointer. Drop half court. They can bog down a bit. Young team, no surprise there. Three ball. That one drops in a long and important three from Jalen Harris. Shooting's been a little off early here, but he's getting a ton of playing time, almost 35 minutes a game. It's his first made three this year. He needed it. He's yeah. a really smooth, smart player with the ball, but when he's not making shots, it can affect other parts of his game. And that's off. Probably Deron, not a lot of that. Archie just turned and just shook his head. <laughs> you know, you, you got to understand time score and where you're playing, and he did not need that shot at all. Get that any time he wants. That, that, that really skilled, really that, really that, that really adds an element to their team. Double team, kick out three. Drano, good shot from seven on the foul. Durham, Finnessy, tough shot, blocked. Good defense that time, and they'll run it out. Asabuin spins and gets it to go as Arkansas pushes the tempo. And the crowd gets into it here with 11.45 to go in the first. Portland speeding up Indiana a little bit, helping their offense and getting the crowd into it for sure. In the lane, it goes, and a foul. Reggie Cheney kick out situations where you're in a closeout situation versus trying to beat these guys one-on-one. -on -one. Good cut, big block at the rim by Gafford. From here, somebody's got to be on the house side, they throw it over the top. And a dunk if he can get up with it, and he does. More pressure. The Dreamers did a great job, but there was nobody else really making him feel uncomfortable. Here's a steal and a run out for Bailey, who flushes. With his like mic, just kind of hangs it. And he knew his team was in for something they hadn't experienced yet. Now, all of a sudden, Langford's hit back-to-back -back buckets. Romeo Langford now six. It's a one-point game. There's a three. They left Isaiah Joe, and he can do that to you. Open, and he buries it. KYP, know your personnel, Ravi. Yeah. And if Langford's out there as a freshman. You got another scouting report. Another freshman, Isaiah Joe, that has a beautiful stroke. But he doesn't really want to put it on the deck and try to create through physical defense the defenses like Indiana has. Step out on him, make him put it on the deck. Inside move by Deron Davis. There you go, Langford now steps up on him. Joe kick, three. Money, and they're getting hot all of a sudden. Mason Jones buries that, back-to-back -back threes, and a five-point lead. Langford dribbling it, had it deflected. Like he may have tweaked his left leg if three falls from Al Durham. Defensive prowess, understanding team defense. He's got back cut right there as we're talking about it. It couldn't happen at a worse time for, for them, but a, a more appropriate time for us. Understand. Really good job by Keyshawn every Simpson. Tough shot. Ball away goes for Daniel Gafford. When he's able to take two dribbles to his left hand and spin back, that's one of the things he gets is good comfort rhythm dribble. He's able to shoot over you, no doubt. Again, Indiana has to know that and has to have people digging in. They're not making him feel enough pressure when he catches the ball. Arkansas pressured, and it led to a run-up because they failed to control it. And Demise Anderson knocks down a two. It's a big shot by Anderson. Going into the media timeout, Archie looked at Anderson and Robert Finnessy. He said, shoot the ball. Two freshmen play with, play with confidence. Shoot the ball. Great so far this year. Cheney. Very quiet, not all that effective in this game. Whoa. How about that off the window? I thought we had a little walk there, but no walk. And a uh, little window wash for two. Sometimes bad shots go in, Ravi. <laughs> That's the no, 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 yes, good yeah. shot. Three. And a wide open look and a big bucket there. That's knocked down by Asabuya. Oh, he's he's got to assert. Good dish. Good block by Gafford. And it did not touch his career, back, which is a hard thing to do. He's shooting 65% from the field, but shooting the top. Isaiah Joe's not afraid to throw it up there. And he goes oh, ahead of the three. Bench tells him to get back on defense. More turnovers. Gafford, look out. Timeout, Indiana. Great extra pass 
think Indiana's going to be when they get healthy. It's a good resume victory if they can hang on and win the extra pass for the three. And that goes down for Isaiah Joe. Great game for Isaiah Joe. He's got 13. Great job making the extra pass, too. Gave up a wood with a pretty good shot for a great shot for the best shooter on the floor, and he knocked it down. Lead is 10. Morgan has a mismatch now with Harris. Good kick. Rebound foul is called in a potential three-point play. There's not, I don't hear a lot of chatter. Jones got hacked, and he gets it to go! This second half, Morgan's Joe. got a mismatch. He wanted the ball. He had Isaiah Joe on a pick and pop, though, for three. Big shot. Great gift to Gafford, who throws it down. Still in the shot to a fourth. Good pass. They're underneath. They Good got look time there. Nice that's why they faltered late in that game. But at this point in time, Gafford needs to play. I think he's got to get back on the floor in short order because this team has not been the same the in the last few Ball short, offensive rebound, Indiana on top, and we talked about it. He played two-plus minutes in the first half, and what a difference he has made. Indiana's first lead since 13-12. to 12. Two offensive rebounds, giving them extra opportunities. We've four points in the last four minutes here with offensive boards. Big shot by Gaffer. Big shot. Feed him. Feed him. That's on the weak side there. Not a great Anderson shot from Bailey. And a good interior pass. What a good look there from Romeo Langford. Those four injuries, to your point, affects that in practice. They're right. practicing shorter times for harder bursts, but it's tough to get in game shape. Great move by Gafford. That length allowed him to drive. Dish Gafford. Got it. And he makes the basket. Daniel Gafford has taken over. Boy, Daniel Gafford feed the monster. I feel like a broken record. They're going to have to make him feel some pressure. They're going to have to foot fake, maybe run a double at him at some point in time because he is really comfortable when he catches on the block right now. But coming into the game, you did wonder if he asserted himself, who would defend him? There's nobody that size. No foul call. Then there for media time for there. Indiana. Mm. Call it a three. Somebody's going to that. Joe. Morgan, Lanker fell asleep. Oh, Gafford, why not go get an offensive rebound? Nobody put a body on. Nice settle down three from Romeo oh, Lankford. He's trying to make plays for the team right now. Open again, met, and he drops it in. Why not? Everything he's putting up is going in. 26 points on 12 of 15 shooting for Daniel Gafford, and he's doubled over got to tip your hat to him because he, he is shot right now but find a way he's gonna get a pick here too he picks it off they may have an alley-oop they do and it goes in Arkansas's defense triggered by Gafford who is begging to come out of the game gets two from Mason Jones and the lead is three and Archie wants to push it Langford Ooh, silent to Sexton Romeo Langford Thought about a high screen. Oh, pretty move on the baseline. Good dish. And a lay-in. What a play on the baseline there from Jalen Harris. That was reminiscent of MJ. Look at the three. Finnessy finally buries one. And Replay we are that. Oh, like Finnessy all the way to the hole. He misses. Tip no good. Jones comes away with it. Two seconds on the shot clock. We're going to have a foul here. We are going to have a foul called against Indiana and Deron Davis with the lead. Three or four, I should say, and he makes the first. Archie Miller and Indiana still do have a timeout. Oh, and get big, and Gafford will play center field and try right. to deflect anything. He did miss it on purpose. They'll get the ball. The long three for the win. No good. And Arkansas holds home court. They have won 41 in a row on this floor when leading at the half, and they were carried by Daniel Gafford and his 27 today. With all those